Okay, this machine is a hybrid excavator and the ones that we have here, the HB335, uh, we've actually received the first ones in the world so it's very exciting for us in Australia. It's an excavator but the main difference is the hybrid system. So basically when the excavator is slewing and braking, that energy is regenerated and stored in a capacitor and that is uh, used again to drive the swing motor. And we also have a generator motor which sits between the engine and the hydraulic pumps and that also generates electricity off engine torque and stores that in the capacitor. So basically it's using things that are usually wasted in heat, such as that kinetic energy when you're braking, and uh, reusing that energy for better fuel efficiency and uh, a reduction in CO2 emissions. It uses it to power the slew. It also uses it to ramp up the engine for hydraulic assistance. So it's got a real low idle of about 700 RPM. This machine would probably have fuel savings on average of about 20%, better than a conventional machine of the same size. Well, at the moment we have it in our 20 tonne size excavators, as well as this now in our 35 tonne. But this sort of technology is the way of the future and I think we'll start to see it in more machines going forward. It's got a lot of new features in this machine apart from the hybrid technology. There's improvements in the engine where it's better fuel burn again. It actually has some of the features of an interim tier 4 engine in it. So it's got EGR, it's also got a variable geometry turbo. It's got some improvements in the monitor panel where it's got more information for the end user and about further fuel savings and advice to the operator at that time. This machine's actually got some changes in the undercarriage so it gets better drawbar pull. Uh, this is up to about 290 kilonewtons now and that's basically changes in uh, the travel motor capacity and final drive gear ratio. So all your hybrid components are cooled by the hybrid cooling system, except for the generator motor, which is cooled by the engine cooling system. So this is your hybrid radiator. You've got a min uh, level for your coolant, a max level up the top. And you also have two water pumps for your hybrid cooling system. Komatsu has about 2,000 hybrid excavators operating around the world now. And in Australia, we have 50 combination of 20 and 35 tonners operating in Australia at the moment.